the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. He asked him, basically, the way I understand it, he's asking Jesus, pretty much, can I get into the kingdom apart from apart from you? <laughs> right? The law, right? Right? I, that's, 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 because we know that nobody's going to enter the kingdom apart from faith in God through Christ. Right? Nobody will enter in by virtue of fulfilling the law. There's gonna be not one, not even Abraham, who's the father of the faith, is gonna get in because of works. He's is gonna, that a, Abraham is justified by faith. Right. Abraham is imputed righteousness because of faith. Right. Abraham is not imputed righteousness because of his works. And so this man asked, what must I do? But would that would that call would you call him of a disciple of Christ or not? Well that's a different that's a different discussion. It seems to, seem to show that he's part of he's part of that private group. You think so? No, brother, I look because <laughs> hey, so look, then he then he came past see now Mark 38 and 42 is a different scenery. Do you agree with that? That's a different scenery. That's yes. it. To me, it's like it's three settings in that chapter. Because this one is saying, now it came to pass when they went. See, now we, we definitely going into a different scene over there, a setting. So that's why I keep thinking that for, for people trying to do different type of assignment of text and, and CIT, these, this chapter is like three different settings. Yeah, you, you know what I'm saying is, any time you choose a, a piece of scripture text, you're obligated to honor its context. It's not just right. And not isolate it. Right. Because the other context might be contributing to the meaning of what you're looking at. Gotcha. And if they are making a significant contri contribution to what you're looking at, then if you just isolate it, then you're not going to get the full truth of what it's being revealed. Makes sense. So that's a that's a standing rule. You gotta always honor the context of what any piece gotcha. of scripture. Right. Existing. Which, 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 which basically means is where's the beginning in the end of that discussion is in, is critical. And the one we just did with love, and we're talking about at least from 11 to <sighs> 11 to 14, really. But I guess 14, like I said, is after <sighs> the so discussion ended at 13. From 11, from <sighs> Bless you, bro. From 10 to, from 11 to 13 is the whole compass where CIT need to come into. And in those, though, you can go at least more than 15, 18 words if you're trying to get a good, if you're trying to get a good uh, grasp of what the central idea of the text is. Just for people to understand. That, and, I, and I think that's what you just said. So that's good. That's a good point. And I, I Hey, here's a question. <laughs> should should the uh, should we come back? Since you say you don't have one anyway for it, should we come back and look at that next next time? Encompassing from eleven to twelve, and and, and give it a uh, you have you not restrained the 15, 18 words because of the the, 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 the amount of wording that goes with it. We'll go with it. So you almost can do a, you almost can do a small paragraph just to make sure you can accomplish the vision, you know, schism, unity, faith, all that need to be encompassed in a in a central idea of text for that discussion. Well, my question is, is all of that not being addressed in chapter 13? I said when I said all things, but you're saying is that we need to be able to identify what all things, all things are what. Right. See, all things is not all things. <laughs> that that's what you're saying, right? All things, all things in this particular case, are all things that 
or undo the spiritual unity yes. of a, the life of a diverse body mem membership. Right. Because what he's trying to show you is this whole concept is about Christ has a diverse body. Yes. That is called to exist in oneness. Yes. In spite of its diversity. Exactly. It usually is a very serious problem. Right. It, it continues to be through life, and that's why it's important when it says how the body cannot stand. That's how critical it is. So your CIT requires some experience. Has to. Yeah. Sure. I think it does. It's just it's there. Because when he started talking about not all right our prophets not all apostles but i'll show you a way in which all of us are right <laughs> all of us do have something in common yes though sir. our gifts are not the same our gifts are different but they have the same source our gifts are different but they have the same lord our Woo. gifts are different but they have the same god of operation yes sir so, so even even undergird in the gifts are oneness. Yes. There's the spirit, there's the Lord, and there's God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> and so now when it comes down to the body, even though you have a multiplicity of different body members, there has to be this. How do you make? How do you maintain this this unity of the spirit among a diverse body member? A group, a, a diverse body. Come on, man. That's what Paul is trying to address in chapter thirteen. Yeah. Yes, in sir. other words, it's like can. Can the brain exist without the heart? Right. Can the heart exist without the lungs? Right. And vice versa. You know, can the body exist without those three? Come on, brother. Come on. If you don't have one of them three, can the body exist? Right. Right. And don't forget to say the comedy parts, right? Remember that one he said? I yeah. He well, said, look, you, you, if you don't think that's important, <laughs> Remember, I think it was a joke. Wasn't it a joke somebody put together uh, where they was trying to say who's more important than the mouth, the eyes? You know, it was a, it was not in yeah. the Bible. It was just in the in the butt. The butt said, "Okay, all right, y'all y'all think I'm not important? <laughs> all right, okay, <laughs> I'm shutting down. <laughs> and, and, and you tell me how good is your voice now? You tell me." How good is your ears right now? You tell me how good is your eyes right now? Cause I am just shut down. <laughs> and that, that, that is addressing 12. It's in the company parts. Yet it all has a value to it. We as a body of Christ <coughs> have a value to it. And, and I think that's that's important. Like I said, love, if you don't have love in every spiritual gift every unity every meaning every message if you're not motivated you can't do street ministry without love no you can't no no you can't go to memphis without love come on brother you, you 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 can't go there without it if love is not the motivating factor you just so waste your you, time let me ask you this question can you replace love with life uh, no I think I think when you when you think in terms of this anonymous, it's just two different words for the same thing. Well, I guess you can have you talking about like living in the, the outside of being born again. You you can have you can have life. No, no, mm. that's the dead and, life. Right? And, and the reason, the reason is that is, life? Is that really life? <laughs> that's, no. that's or is that just the Walking Dead? Yes, are, those, are they zombies? Yeah, oh. animated dead folks. Seriously. <laughs> They're going a... dead in trespassing sin. Look, oh. I keep telling you, the zombie apocalypse happened the moment Adam ate of that tree. It did. It did. Spiritually dead. Spiritually yeah. dead. Yeah. You can't you can't have neither one without you can't have without love. Love is what connects back to love, love is the connection. Love it's is the connection, right. it's the it is life. Yeah. I am the way, the truth, and the life. He did say that. I'm the yep. way, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And the life. I have come that they might have life, and that Ooh. they might have it more abundantly. So, when Jesus, in the scripture, goes on to say that you were born dead in trespasses and sins. Yeah. 
<laughs> so it's pretty, pretty explicit. It's just that you don't catch it the first time around. Like, yeah, you was born dead. <laughs> you was born dead. <laughs> That's what he meant. You was dead when you was born. You... Yeah. <laughs> yep. And love sent love. <laughs> yep. To bring to, life. To revive us. Yeah. Come on now. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> We're about to get this thing down to art. <laughs> I think so. Amen. Yeah, hey, can Amen. you imagine? I know it's taking us a minute to get there because I thought it was a car in the house. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, I think, <laughs> <laughs> I think that, hey, look, I think that, that, that that's what that's what you all right there with you. I did. <laughs> what is the gospel? <laughs> Jobs what? and better jobs. <laughs> yes, sir. Raises and bonuses. Gives and surprises. <laughs> Find, finding money. Amen. Ah, Amen. Help us, Lord. Help us, Jesus. Hey, uh, 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 let me uh, let me hear something from Jimmy Hill, man. Jimmy Hill ain't said nothing more. Let me hear something from you, brother. He, 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 he ain't chiming in. He ain't worried about it. There he is. It's, on, it's, it's, it's a listening moment. <laughs> it's good to hear your voice, brother. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in the place. I'm in the house. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I miss you. Amen. Yeah. I appreciate that, brother. I do. Absolutely. Let me get some feedback from you, brother. What do you think? What do you think? Well, to be honest with you, I wasn't really prepared for... Uh, the Corinthians. I didn't know we were going there. Obviously, missed some stuff, and, and like you said, that's a lot of uh, that's a whole lot of uh, scripture to try to break down and yes, try to summarize in a, in a CIT, you know. But I guess if you're gonna bite off that much, you, you might as well go ahead and get into it. It's just gonna take. It's gonna require some research and some study. But I'm sure we can come together and, and be able to at least touch on the surface. Maybe get a little deeper. But anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm looking forward to that now because uh, that gives me something else to kind of focus on for the next week or so. But uh, uh, my man said, can you replace life with love? Uh, hmm. I like that dead born though. You know, that is, a, when you think about that, well, you were born dead. Isn't that crazy? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's that's good. I mean, when that sinks in, you know, a lot of things we really don't think about until somebody just kind of really brings it out. You know, that's why I like that CIT too, because sometimes we just do so cursed. We just do just so as a formality. You know, you read stuff, you hear stuff, you think about stuff, and it just and you think you know it and and you believe you understand it until you stop and just really focus on the one thing at a time, and then you start seeing, man, there's a whole lot more to that than what I've been realizing. And mm -hmm. I think that's what's necessary with scriptures in that we we, we got to do, we got to stop reading and doing a lot more studying because reading is just that, you just read it. You're not really digging deep and letting it speak to you because this book will speak, it speaks. Yes, sir. But you got to be listening mm -hmm. or you'll miss it. Amen. But yeah, I uh, I'm gonna be ready for I'm gonna be ready for uh, Corinthians, but that's gonna definitely require some time. Right, and you you caught the part we're saying is that finding it for this is for us and then, you know people as well that study work. Find the beginning of the discussion and the end of the discussion, and and then you can put a CIT together. Uh, and in this case, Jimmy, it, it'll be more than 15, 18 words if you're gonna encompass something that covers multiple script, you know, chapters. Right, right. Yeah. I, I, I have I have walked my way down through those, those the other two chapters. Yes, sir. And because there's so much stuff, I didn't do an, I didn't do an exhaustive verse by verse. But what I did, I, I, I broke the chapters up. I go, I took chapter 11, chapter 12, and I broke chapter 12 up into the pieces that are that form one homogenous piece uh -huh. that just gave a theme to it. Yeah. But by the time I get down to the, the whole chapter, 
I can look at that chapter and see what things are being talked about and how those things fit together to form what's in that chapter. But based on that though, I, I kind of I got a draft. I got my first draft to see right here. And I just so far I just tell you, uh, it addresses uh, diversity. Unity among the person. Mm -hmm. so that's that's a, that's a serious problem. No matter where you find people together in a society or, or any kind of relationship, you're going to have a problem. That's why we got race issues. So yeah. We got diversity. There's diversity and in a family. And, and, and we all can agree that the only way that diverse people can live together in one is through love. Right. Amen. Yeah. That would keep them together. Yeah. That's it. That would keep them together. We don't think the world will fall apart. You know, the, the funny thing about it is that diversity is different. Yeah. <laughs> Every person is different than the snowflakes. I mean, it's either none of the same. So you see, every last one would have a particular place in the universe and time and space that nobody else can occupy other than God himself. Mm. So with all that diversity, how can you come together in unity with exception? So I think that's when we look at that one, we said, why was the love identified as a gift? It said, follow after love. But something to that effect, and then those gifts can work together. Right. And what it say about the love? What is that love of God restraining us, restraining us, or restraining us? Uh, but what what was it? Constraining us. Constraining us. Yeah. It, it, it's it's very powerful. And, and what what when the world comes together like Hitler, pride is. That's why I guess why he said pride was one of the abominations, wasn't it? Yeah, it is an abomination. God, the proud look. Yeah, because that can actually cause a oneness. A schism. Schism. Where, where schism finds the whole world, right? Mm -hmm. But Hitler used it to bring a nation together. Yeah, he knew he used uh, the Jews as a scapegoat. He, he he pointed their hostilities and he blamed them. For, he part, unified yeah. them through the destruction of the Jews. Exactly, which was part of his nation too, right? In yeah. other words, he had to divide up in his own country. And then eventually, you know, it backfired on him because by the end of the war, supposedly he was coming against his own people too. Mm. So his, his mentality is just, I mean, the, that divisiveness doesn't work. I mean, it, in the long run, it may be short term effective, right. but long run, it's going to tear up something. It's going to tear up everything. It brought the whole country down. Yeah, yeah. Here's something I find to be very interesting that the enemy is actually seeking to use the things of God to divide. Yeah. I'm he did it in the garden. I'm going to use apostle, use apostle against healing. Mm -hmm. You know, the one thing that's beautiful about it is he can't use love against anything. And that, and that kind of like validates reality that he's separated from it. Ooh. He never uses love to do anything. Because I don't think he can ever accomplish in his, in his realm is the vision, destruction, tearing down, pitting people against each other. If you watch it, didn't he try and? I, I think he used love in the garden. Uh, uh, um, Satan. Yeah. How? Because I think though Adam and Eve didn't know they were like God, that their love for Him desired to be more. Mm. To be so like what, so what word could you replace for love? Life. God. All right, we got two right there. That's quick. <laughs> God. Life. I don't think about life. I, I feel like you say life is that can and this without love. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the manifest name of the invisible God. I am Jesus. I am is love. No. I am. I, mean, I am is love. Right. Yeah, I'm with, I'm with that too. I mean, yeah. based, on the, based on the text itself. Oh, now you got to go there again. Nah, nah, <laughs> <shut up. laughs> 
Detective, you never see it. Listen.